What if you could control things with just your mind? No touching needed. You simply think and objects move. Anything from bending spoons, lifting cars, even stopping bullets right in front of you. This crazy power might soon be real for humans. Elon Musk's Neuralink has revealed Nolan Arbaugh, the first person with their brain implant. Nolan can now use telepathy, mind powers to make things happen with just a thought. Neuralink stunned the world with a surprise live stream on the X platform, introducing their first human patient, Nolan Arbaugh. At 29 years old, this Arizona native sat beside his Neuralink engineer, Bliss Chapman, who operated the camera. Nolan was once a bright student athlete at Texas A&M University, but that all changed in a heartbeat in 2016 when a freakish incident left him paralyzed from the shoulders down at just 21 years old. While working as a camp counselor mentoring kids that summer, a tragic accident caused dislocation of his C4 and C5 neck vertebrae. These are bones situated midway between the collarbone and base of the skull. Due to this devastating injury, Nolan completely lost feeling and motor function throughout his entire body below the shoulders. 11 months after this life-altering accident, Nolan's family and friends rallied around the young man. They organized fundraising efforts to obtain a wheelchair accessible vehicle for him. Despite receiving immense care and support from his Texas A&M community, Nolan grappled with his lack of mobility according to his GoFundMe page. With paraplegia confining him to a massive cumbersome electric wheelchair, even attending medical appointments alone became an enormous challenge. So Nolan's loved ones got innovative, selling red hash Nolan Strong bracelets to collect funds for the specialized transport van he desperately required. Their perseverance paid dividends when donations exceeded the $10,000 goal in June 2017, allowing purchase of the game-changing wheelchair van. Upon its arrival, Mia Neely expressed on the family's behalf, This is a huge milestone for Nolan and his family. However, Nolan still has a long road ahead of him and still requires lots of specialized equipment for day-to-day -day living. However, no one could have guessed that seven years later, such equipment would finally arrive in an unexpected form, a brain chip carefully implanted into Nolan's head by a skilled robotic surgeon. It all started with a drunken phone call from Nolan's friend that convinced him to apply for Elon Musk's Neuralink human trials. This pal, studying biology and working at a neuroscience lab, had excitedly shared that Neuralink received FDA approval for human testing. At the time, Nolan knew nothing about Neuralink but still applied with his friend's assistance, who accidentally misspelled Nolan's name on the online application. Despite the error, Nolan remarkably scored an interview opportunity. Determined to gain an edge, he continually selected the earliest available interview slots, hoping it would boost his chances of being chosen for the coveted brain chip implant surgery. Nolan's persistence paid dividends in January 2024 when he underwent a 30-minute procedure. Through an extremely precise surgery, an advanced robot essentially opened a window into Nolan Arbaugh's mind. It carefully removed a small, watch-sized disc of skull bone. Then it implanted Neuralink's special brain-computer link device right into that opening, connecting Nolan's brain directly to technology. Nolan now has a slim chip placed snugly against the inner curve of his skull. Attached to the chip are 64 ultra-thin wires inserted 2 millimeters deep into the motor cortex area of his brain. This is the region that controls intentions for physical movements and actions. By picking up the signals from this area, Neuralink has created an amazing bridge linking the human brain to computers. The first amazing demonstration showed Nolan easily controlling a virtual chess game using only his thoughts. To anyone watching, his smooth cursor movements and game commands look completely normal. He could pause music, glide the cursor around, and make precise moves just by thinking about it. An observer wouldn't realize this was a paralyzed person who previously could only use an awkward mouth stick to operate computers. But now Nolan is free from that limitation. His thought signals transmit wirelessly via Bluetooth from the implanted chip straight to any connected device. It's an incredibly direct process, no longer relying on the spinal cord pathways that once carried muscle movement commands from the brain. Those biological links are irrelevant now. Intention becomes action with just a thought.
Neuralink's pioneering brain machine Link works by decoding the patterns of neuron firing that relate to physical behaviors. Using advanced programs, it learns and maps these brain signal codes, translating them into commands for machines. With each firing neuron acting like a computer switch, Nolan's thoughts stream out in binary code, allowing mind control over technology. This radical breakthrough can restore independence for those with paralysis, stroke, or neurological disorders, but it also provides a glimpse into combining human intelligence with artificial intelligence, the symbiosis future that Elon Musk have. Nolan's journey has been a learning experience for everyone involved, including the Neuralink engineers who developed this technology over nearly a decade. They had never been able to get real feedback on what it feels like to actually use their brain-computer interface device until Nolan. Working with monkeys provided some insights, but having a human user to dialogue with directly is an immense upgrade. Nolan worked with the team on two main approaches for controlling the Neuralink. Attempted movement versus imagined movement. The attempted movement focus was trying to recreate the same neuron firing patterns and motions he would have used to physically move a computer mouse before his injury. The thinking was that even though his spinal cord is severed, those neural pathways for movement intent are still intact and could trigger device commands. However, Nolan found the imagined movement approach was by far the most intuitive way to operate his Neuralink. All he had to do was vividly imagine the cursor moving, visualizing it almost like using the force to move an object telekinetically. He'd just look at the area of the screen he wanted the cursor to go, vividly picture it moving there in his mind, and the cursor would obey his mental command. This makes sense, as Nolan's Neuralink is specifically tapped into the motor cortex area of his brain that controls physical actions and intentions. By imagining and intending the cursor movement so vividly, he was activating those precise neuron firing patterns that the implant could then detect and translate into the desired outcome on the computer screen. While the tech side is super cool, what really hits you is the huge positive impact it's already had on Nolan's life. He talks about how he could finally stay up all night playing video games for the first time in years. Something so normal for most people, but not for Nolan. Before he could only use computers and iPads while sitting in his wheelchair. Stuck in that sitting position, he needed constant help adjusting his body to avoid getting painful sores. But now, the wireless Neuralink connection lets Nolan work and play while lying down in bed, unattended for hours. It's given him a level of independence he never had before. Let's hear how Nolan describes this life-changing experience himself. The wild experience. This guy wants to know if you feel like a wizard. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy. It really is. Um, it's so cool. I'm so freaking lucky to be a part of this and stuff. I mean, I just... Every day it seems like we're learning new stuff and uh, I just can't even describe how else. Of course there are still downsides. Nolan says the biggest limitation is dealing with battery life. The Neuralink chip runs for eight hours per charge. Then he has to wait for it to recharge before using it again. Neuralink doesn't let people use the device while it's charging, which makes sense. They don't want risking the implant getting too hot from overcharging. Nolan may be the first, but he definitely won't be the last person with a Neuralink implant. There could already be more users we don't know about yet. Last September, Neuralink announced they started recruiting people to test the N1 brain-computer interface and R1 robot that implants it. This clinical trial, called the PRIME study, is first focused on making sure the implant and robot are safe for human use. It will also test how well the N1 allows paralyzed people to control devices with just their thoughts. The study is expected to take up to six years for Neuralink to complete and verify the results. For the first 18 months after getting the implant, patients will check in with doctors every two months to monitor progress and make sure the Neuralink is still working right. They'll also have one-hour research sessions with the Neuralink team at least twice a week. Neuralink has already done a lot of groundwork with animal testing to get to this point. 
In 2021, they did 155 surgeries on sheep, pigs, and monkeys. In 2022, that increased to 294 total animal surgeries. Normally for an FDA human trial, companies are limited to just one test patient the first year, with a long wait to assess results. But because of Neuralink's previous animal testing experience and the huge interest from potential human volunteers, they've gotten approval for multiple human surgeries starting in 2024. The current plan is for Neuralink to do 11 human implant surgeries in 2024. That will go up to 27 more surgeries in 2025 than 79 surgeries in 2026. If everything goes well, Neuralink's operations will really start ramping up after that initial phase. They anticipate doing 499 surgeries in 2027, then the numbers get mind-boggling exponentially increasing to 22,204 implant surgeries in 2030 alone. That's not a typo. 22,000 procedures in just one year is Neuralink's incredibly ambitious goal for the future.